what else? Welcome to Vlogmas Day 23. We December 23rd. It's a Wednesday. It's QA time. So I asked people yesterday um, to ask me anything. And there's a lot of questions. So we're gonna get through it kind of quick. We're not gonna um drag the questions out too long. It's gonna be a short, simple QA. Now for those questions that was not answered today, it's because they have already been answered in the previous Q&A. So go check out those Q&As and your question will be on there. Um, what else? Oh yeah, my outfit. Go Tara. Go Tara. It's a two-piece sweat outfit. It was a birthday. It's a zip-up thing with a hood. Um, it was a birthday outfit from one of my best friends. Thank you, Chubb. Um, um, I got a pair of slippers. They're really comfortable. Um, I will put a picture up on Instagram of the full outfit with the slippers. And then I'm paired with a nice pair of heels. So with that being said, thank you for my outfit. Today's lipstick is a Maybelline Brown. That's it. Hair. Yeah, I just slapped this one on, took off the other hair. So that's that. So let's get on to the questions. But before we get on to the questions, you know, let's make a drink before we do that. And today's drink, I have a mood for a dirty martini. Um, you see ice into my glass. I like to put ice to chill it. Now we're gonna pour this ice. I chill, I chill my martini glass. Put the ice in there and the glass is chilled. Measurements will be in the description box down below. This is Tara's version of a dirty martini. This is the vermouth. Okay. And this is vodka. I put it in this bottle because I'm not getting paid for the vodka. two ounces now you've seen me put this top on here <laughs> poor Tara I like to put a little bit of olive juice that's what make it Tara's dirty martini then we take some people like this stirred I like my shaking but before we shake it, let's put my olives, crushed olives at the bottom. And then you have olives. Now let's shake. Shake it until that thing get cold. <laughs> That's your dirty martini. Tara's version of a dirty martini. It's five o'clock somewhere. Ooh, that's good. Now, let's get into the Q&A. Okay, my loves, let's get into these questions. I'm gonna read them off of the Instagram as they come in. Now, let's get into the first one. We're not going to do numbers because it's too many to say. One and two and three and four. It says, what camera lens do you use? I use two different cameras. One is a Canon T3i, um, T3i, and then I use a Canon EOS M10. I will put both of them. How long have you been in, how long have you lived in Atlanta? Too long. Um, no, seriously, too long. Do you like cats or dogs? Don't like animals. Oh, you know, what are your 2021 goals? Um, I plan on selling merch. Do you cuddle with a pillow? No. I, I have no idea why you asked that question. What do you use on your skin? Um, I will put it right here. I use a lot of 
Neutrogena products. Thank you, Neutrogena. I use a lot of Neutrogena products. I've been using one product for years. A lot of people say you should switch up, but I know my skin best. I do not like to put different types of products on because each product has something different than the other product and I just stick with one brand. So it's Neutrogena. Now I have to put my glasses on because the screen went smaller. So you <laughs> so I see you turn 50. What do you do to maintain your energy? My energy is just natural. I just have a natural energy. Um, I'm a goofy person. I, I love to act a fool. So my energy just comes from the natural me. I, I can't even explain how. Oh, that is good. Do, what was the question again? <laughs> do you give up on men if he made a mistake? First off, there's no such thing as making a mistake. And if you're talking about... Oh, in parentheses, if he cheated as a mistake. Okay, first off, pay attention closely. When you cheat, you gave up on me. But I just let you go. No, I don't give men second chances if you cheat. Because cheating is a choice. That's not a mistake. Cheating is a choice. Remember that. Stop fooling yourselves. Cheating is not a mistake. What you do? Trip and fall into somebody's vagina? Would you date an ex if he, she changed? No, I don't go backwards. I don't, I don't go backwards. This, no. And I'm not dating anyone. Um, <laughs> when you gonna start a talk show? That's a good question. I've been trying to put that into play for about a year or two. So I still don't have an answer to that. Yeah, I really still don't have an answer to that because the talk show thing is not like, oh my God, I'm just going to start it and it happens. It takes a minute to figure out how to get it started, get the people. It's a lot, but I, I'm still trying to figure it out. And if you know how to do it, help me out. Where your pretty nose at where your pretty nose at they right here can't put it too close gonna get they right here thank you for calling them pretty how is your morning so far my morning has been amazing how many questions shall i ask you as many as you can and i see you asked a lot <laughs> and thank you and that's what make these a lot of questions. How many days can you go without sex? I can go without sex a long time. 21 questions, LOL. <laughs> can you lick me like a lollipop? Oh my God, no. I have an, o I have an OCD germophobic thing. I, mm, 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 mm. I can lick these olives. But lick, ew. I'm a, oh, I'm a germaphobic. I'm not licking anybody like a lollipop. <laughs> no. Thank you. Woo! That was a good one. That was a good one. What, what's the one thing you will want to do that you haven't done yet? Is one thing that I want to do that I haven't done? What haven't I done? I've done so many things. Um... I have no idea to be honest because I've done a lot of things let's see I traveled I was in a helicopter um I've been on television I have no idea that's a good question though I've done a lot of things in my lifetime of 52 years let's say 33 of it I've done a lot I had six children <laughs> Let's see what's the next one. Where did you get so much talent from? Because you do everything. I don't know. I think it runs in our family. Um, that's a good question. Uh, <laughs> I get my talent. Uh, I, 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 I'm going to be honest. I don't know. Because I've been creative pretty much all my life. And I was, okay, I'm going to give thanks to my stepfather. He taught me a lot of DIY stuff. stuff. Um, I'm also going to give credit to my sister. May she rest in peace. She taught me how to do hair and makeup. 
Um, but as far as getting the talent to what I, I, I'm doing right now, I have no idea because <laughs> what are your secret skills? I know how to get on people's nerves without getting on people's nerves. If that's a secret skill. Um, I don't really have a secret skill. <laughs> I don't know how to answer that one because I, I don't have any secret skills. What's your favorite toy? Now, are you talking about toys and growing up toys or toys? Um, my favorite toy is... I didn't have a favorite toy. My favorite toy growing up was a dollhouse. That was it. I don't have favorite toys. I don't really play with toys. I don't even play with adult toys, but like that, but yeah. My favorite toy, I don't really have one. What was the best gift you ever received? That's a good question. The best gift I ever received. Do you call children gift? Grandkids. gift I ever received was oh a Mother's Day ring my mom gave me that was the best gift ever because it has six birthstones on it um, I put a picture up right here that was the best gift I ever received what was the most embarrassing thing that happened to you falling down on an ice skating ring that was the most embarrassing thing for me what did you want to be when you was were a little girl. I always wanted to be a lawyer. A lawyer. That didn't happen. I became an accountant. I mean, I took law school and all of that. The law classes and all of that great stuff. It just was not my cup of tea. The best advice anyone has ever given to you. Live your life. That was the best gift. And I've been living my life since they told me and I was 28 years old, live your best life. And I'm, do I'm doing it. I am doing it. It's the best advice anyone can give me. Best advice is really don't give me any advice. <laughs> no, but that was it. Live your best life. Which social game was your favorite while growing up? Monopoly. I love playing Monopoly. The original Monopoly. How do you treat people who annoy you for no reason? Who I don't hang around people that annoy me. They would get their feelings hurt. Um, so I don't hang around people that annoys me. And and people, please don't try to annoy me. I, I delete. Without telling you, I would delete you. Would you go out on a business dinner with me? Okay, I don't know what a business dinner is is first off second uh, this is a networking event because only dinners i do honestly if it's business related it's a networking event what have you learned from your past relationships i'm not a relationship person i have zero tolerance and zero patience that's what i learned from my last relationship and only been in two my whole life my marriage and my seven year relationship after my marriage so I have learned that. I have zero patience. Zero tolerance. That's just to be real. Who is your best friend? I have a ooh, I grew up with a lot of best friends. Um and we still friends and it's what 40-ish years. So I have a lot of best friends I grew up with, and they're mostly in New York. Um, the ones I have here in Atlanta, I only have one best friend in Atlanta, Georgia, or the state where that person lives in the state of Atlanta. Um, yeah, I have one best friend here, and it's been since, it's 20 years. And yeah, he actually gave me this for my birthday gift. We've been best friends for a minute. And if he was looking for the name, his name is Chubb. 20 years of friendship. <laughs> wow, that's a long time. And yes, men and women could be best friends. You don't have to be attracted to everyone. And if someone is your best friend, and that's a male, and you have some kind of attraction towards each other, it wasn't best friends at the beginning. It was a motive. 
my opinion, in fact. Let's see. I have to open up this other one because it's long. Based off life experiences, if you could go back in time, what advice would you give the 25-year-old? Less stress. Don't stress over life. Don't stress. Okay. Good question. Don't stress over things you cannot control. Because at the age of 28, I had a heart attack. Don't stress over things you cannot control. That's the best advice I can give. That was a good question. With what come on phrase would try on you to conquer you? None. Yeah, nobody can conquer me because I'm not looking for anyone. Um, so pick up phrases, doesn't work. Next question, do you agree? Teaching your kids what you never knew is better than giving them what you never had. I'd rather teach my kids about life than giving them things I didn't have. Because if I didn't have it, how would I know I was missing it? Do you agree teaching your kids what you never knew is better, is better than giving them what you never had? I'd rather teach my kids the things I didn't know back then that I know now than Giving them things I didn't have back then that I have now. What I have now, I worked for it because now I know what it is that I have. Back then, I didn't know that. But I'd rather teach my kids how to get the things I've never had, whatever that was, because I had it all. I had love, I had family, and I had freedom. And this is what I teach my kids. Love, family, freedom. To be me. There you go. I recorded that part about six times because I was rambling. What's the craziest or most out of character thing you have ever done? Have sex on the roof. Where do you see yourself in five years from now? I swear. Uh, five years from now. I don't know. I'm trying to see where I'm going tomorrow. I so love and hate that question. Five years from now, where I see myself, I'm in New York City, in my condo overlooking Manhattan, enjoying a, probably a nubbing a dirty martini. <laughs> Five years from now. Hell, I'm trying to get past today. I love when people do interviews and they ask that annoying question. That's the stupidest thing. We don't know what we're doing tomorrow, more like five years from now. Um, but great question. If you could relive one day from your past, which would it be? Bring it. What are you most passionate about right now? My most passionate thing right now is, but uh, let's see, photography. I love photography. I love cameras. I love anything dealing with photography. I would go back to school just to become a photographer, a professional photographer. Too expensive though, because I wouldn't pay for it. But that's my most passionate thing right now is being a photographer. What's your motivation to push through, let me open that up because it's a long question. Most, so most people, so, so many people make excuses. Jesus, they do. They make excuses like a person with a rap sheet. <laughs> What's your motivation to push through with no excuses? I'm a diva. Let me give you the definition of what my professor gave me as what a diva means. Determined, intelligent, and very ambitious. My ambition is what motivates me. I have to, I have to do things. If I don't do it, if I make excuses, and really my excuses are not excuses. It's pain. So if I'm not doing something, it's because I'm in serious pain. I deal with headaches every day. So my motivation is my ambition. I want, I need, I have to do things. So 
in order to not make excuses, find your passion in life. My passion is loving life. <laughs> Loving life to the fullest. So if that answered your questions after the seventh time I recorded this. Next question. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Somebody else just asked that question. Well, somebody put, where do you see yourself five years from now? And then this person asked, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Same answer. Living in New York City. I'm going back home to retire, toasted up, and my condo overlooking Manhattan, sipping on a dirty martini. But I can't see myself from today to tomorrow. I don't even know what's happening in the next three minutes. So that answers the question, where do you see yourself five years from now? I don't really put a time limit because I put my time limit 25 years. So my daughter's 26. I put my time limit 26 years ago and I'm still stuck in Georgia for small reasons. What's your biggest deal breaker in a relationship? I don't do relationships. That's the biggest deal breaker. I don't do relationships, so. What's your perfect, what is your idea of a perfect date? I don't date. But to go hang out with people, the perfect date is something sporty. Let's go to a NASCAR racing thing. <laughs> or a car show. That's a perfect outing. I don't date. Outings, I love NASCAR racing. I enjoy going to look at old cars from 1912. That is my perfect outing because once again, I don't do it. What would you do tomorrow if it was were your last day on earth? Oh, that movie Queen Latifah was in and she thought she was going to die. I would just live. I don't know if any of you all watched that movie with Queen Latifah and she thought she was going to die because they had the wrong chart or something. And she just lived it up. I would want to just enjoy life. Just spend all my money on nothing. Y'all have to watch that movie. I, keep, I, I put the name of it right here. Um, but yeah, I would just live life just to the fullest until it's time to go. But God ain't coming for me right now, so I would just enjoy life like I'm doing now. What is your biggest pet peeve? Fake, 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 fake people. People that lie to themselves and feel like they want to be better than someone else. First off, you can't be better than me. Let that go. Second, I don't like people who are fake. That's probably why I don't have any close friends. I have best friends. I just don't have close friends around me or why I don't hang around people because I can feel your energy before you get to me. I will walk away before you even get close to me. Trust me. I can't mm, that fakeness. Let it go. Last question of the evening. If you could have anything in life that you had wanted, what would it be? First off, I have everything in life that I wanted because I'm still breathing. Um, the actual thing that I wanted in life is not here because she had passed away. I have my grandkids. I have a roof over my head. I have a retirement home coming up. I get paid to do what I love. My grandkids, I think I said that already. <laughs> But what I really, 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 really want in life is to open up a domestic violence shelter in at least eight states to help women in honor of domestic violence. My mother went through domestic violence when I was growing up and I feel 
and I'm very passionate about it. Keep your them hands to yourself, people. Whether it's a man or a female, keep your hands to yourself. But I seriously wanted to want to open up a domestic violence shelter in eight states to help women and men, because there are men out there, get back on their feet, get the counseling they need. So if I can get anything in the world is to open up a domestic violence shelter and call it Pauline. That was the name, my mother's name, Pauline. So yes, that concludes this long video and this is the last video for 2020, the Q&A questions. So thank you for all the questions. The ones that did not get answered are the questions that has been answered in the previous videos that I've done as far as Q&A. So thank you for watching. This is your girl Dirty Martini. No, this is... <laughs> Your girl Tara Love Diva, and thank you for watching. Stay tuned for Vlogmas Day 24, a day before Christmas. Cheers!